guys, so I've talked about this a little bit, but I thought I'd talk about it a little bit more. Heliocare, or polypodium leucotomus, is, in my opinion, one of the only skincare supplements you should be taking. Most skincare supplements, generally, unless you're deficient in one of the ingredients, won't do very much. Or if you don't have a very rich diet and uh, good nutrients and things like that. It just, if you have a great diet and things like that, you probably don't need them. However, more and more research comes out about this polypodium leucotomus and how great it is for skin. So it's been dubbed kind of inappropriately the sunscreen pill. I hate that. I don't like that because I don't want people to think it's an excuse for not using sunscreen. But if you use this while using sunscreen, more and more research is showing that this is great. It helps protect your skin from UVA damage, UVB rays, uh, sunburn, things like that. So if you use this with a sunscreen, you're going to really be helping your skin out. And more and more research is showing that uh, this pill, just even taking this, can help uh, with melasma, hyperpigmentation uh, on its own. And then when you factor in how this helps your skin fight off that by taking it daily, it's even more impressive. Uh, another study discussed this and discussed purity amongst other brands. So Heliocare is the main deal. If you go to like Walgreens, Walmart, you're going to see Heliocare. You're probably not going to see anything else polypodium leucotomus unless maybe you go to GNC or you search it on Amazon. I will say some of those uh, research in that article discussed purity, potency, and just the importance of getting a brand you trust. So in the past, I've said, check this one out. It's a little pricey. There are some generic versions. Um, I'm going to go back on that a little bit and say, if you can afford it, just get the name brand because you know they've done the testing, they've done the formulations, they know the purity of their extracts. If you can, if it's a budget thing because it can be a little pricey. I would still go with something generic, but look for a brand that you recognize instead of any generic brand. Um, I'd love to see it in serums. I've found uh, polypoidum leucotomus in one serum, which had fragrance in it. So I wasn't super excited about it, but I'm going to keep checking. Um, Heliocare also makes sunscreens. I don't love their chemical sunscreens because so far all of them contain fragrance. However, a lot of you pointed this one out. Thank you. They're mineral Tolerance Fluid is a mineral sunscreen and it doesn't contain any of the fragrance. So if you can use something uh, in addition to taking it orally, if you use something topically, it will also help your skin fight off the rays better. Although, what it says SPF 50, uh, the minerals in this, I believe, are zinc and they use nano zinc, which nano zinc I'm not crazy about. It uh, increases UVB ray protection, but it decreases UVA protection as opposed to non-nano zinc. So if you can get non-nano zinc, it usually has a white cast, and that's why it just does a better job. But overall, I can certainly say this is one I'll probably be using more often in the winter. Um, in the summer, I prefer something a little bit stronger, waterproof, sweatproof if possible, as opposed to like a mineral sunscreen. But out of Heliocare sunscreen options, this has to be my favorite just because... Um, all their other ones contain fragrance, and this one does not also contain spirulic acid, which is also nice, uh, and several other ingredients that are great for fighting off uh, sun rays. So I would love to see Heliocare come out with like a night serum because it's been shown really that this helps your skin, and I have a feeling that it also has a uh, kind of a reserve effect the way vitamin C does. You can put vitamin C on in the morning, and the vitamin C, even after you wash it off at night, is still working in your skin. Uh, up to, I believe it's 48 hours. So I have a feeling this has something similar to that, but I haven't seen research yet. So don't take, don't quote me on that. But anyway, so what I do in the morning, uh, before I go out for the day, I take one of these. If I'm going to be out on the boat all day or outside all day, I'll take another one four or five hours later. I never take more than two in a day, but it is worth considering, uh, checking out. It's the only real skin supplement that has proven research that it does something. So anyway, I also just want to point out for people with melasma and hyperpigmentation issues that this might do even more good for you. So it's worth investigating. So anyway, I will link to some of the research below. Uh, anyway, leave your thoughts or comments, or if you found one generic version that you think is trustworthy, leave a comment. But don't put a .com after it because YouTube will spam that. So just put the name of the website and then may write out dot .dot com. I don't know. YouTube is very picky. So anyway, okay. Thank you so much, guys. I will see you more later.